Roswell Flight Test Crew, here at Exponential 2021 in Hotlanta, Georgia, and I'm speaking with Jeffrey Starr at the DFAN booth. Jeffrey, how you doing? Great, Patrick. Uh, great to have you here, and thank you very much for visiting us uh, at Exponential. Oh, absolutely. Now, you guys are doing drone defense, which is a big issue these days and an important one, but you've got a sort of fundamentally different approach. How are you doing it? Well, um, I'm glad you phrased it that way because, above all, uh, what I want to emphasize is we're, we love drones. We're into enabling the new drone economy. Um, with the proliferation of drones, however, exactly as you said, there are some risks, there are some safety issues, there are some dangers. And we are, yes, in the counter UAS, counter drone space. But above all, what we're seeking to try to preserve is continuity. We want operations, communications, transportation, everyday life to continue while at the same time detecting and mitigating potentially dangerous drones or risky drones or dangerous situations. So as you said, we're fundamentally different. Um, unlike other conventional or traditional counter drone technologies that came from the, let's say, the conventional military battlefield, we're focused on sensitive environments, we're focused on urban environments, and it's important to define what we're not. Um, we're not, for example, based on jamming. Uh, jamming which is temporary and jamming which um, can cause operational disruption obviously to the communications in the area. We're also not kinetic, we're not physical, uh, we're not shooting anything. There's no projectile going, there's no fo drone falling to the ground. Uh, what we are is we're RF cyber takeover based. So we detect the communications between the remote control and the drone and then we literally as on discretion, on decision, take over the drone. And then we um, push it along a safe route, safe landing to a pre-designated zone uh, where it basically alleviates the situation and reduces the risk and danger. Alternatively, we can do what's called a fend-off, send it back to where it came from. We can even, even cause it to hover in place. But basically, it's a system based around continuity, control, and safety. Got it. And I noticed this big module you've got behind us here in the booth. That's sure. the system that does this. And there must be a computer interface or something that works with that. Exactly. Um, you can see here the uh, there's a number of actual different versions um, depending on the actual deployment. We have high altitude, we have ground level, we have stationary, we have mobile, we have tactical, we have fixed. There's all different configurations, each with the uh, appropriate antennas and software-defined radio uh, to implement it and execute it. So yeah, basically there's a wide range of uh, deployment options and, and that's how they're configured and, and how the system works. Great. Well, I'm a big believer in your technology. As long as we've got dumb people or bad people flying drones, I hope you don't get used very often, but I'm going to be glad you're there when you do. So thanks so much for sharing with us. Great. And that's exactly the point. We realize, you know, there's both the nefarious and there's also the uh, careless, um, not necessarily intentional, but we want to uh, safeguard sites and operators and uh, security agencies against all these different types of threats. While enabling good drones, we distinguish between authorized safe drones and dangerous drones and uh, therefore helping support the new drone economy. A big plus to this is if you're at a like a big sporting event, say, and you've got drones that are being used there, you know, appropriately and with authorization, but then suddenly a bad drone shows up, with your system, you just turn, don't turn on a blanket jammer and wipe out all the drones. You just take out the ones that are problematic and let the authorized ones continue. That's exactly right. Uh, that's a big uh, advantage of our capabilities. We do distinguish between uh, unauthorized or unknown or hostile or rogue drones and authorized friendly drones that, like you say, at a stadium are there to perform uh, a role, to perform a job, and those applications and use cases can continue undisturbed. Again, that's part of our overall theme of continuity. Well, Jeffrey, it's fascinating stuff. This sounds like a big step forward in counter drone technology and I'm glad to have had the chance to learn about it. So thanks so much. Excellent. Thank you so much for visiting us and we're looking forward to uh, uh, continuing uh, to help safeguard the skies with our technology. Outstanding. Well, from Exponential 2021 in Hotlanta, Georgia, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again. Thank you.